Okay, hello my sumo peeps. Um, I have had a multitude of people asking me how to do starry skies, and uh, um, usually I, I get to the point where I actually get a little uh, persnickety when people just ask me how I drew something or how I did it, and it's like, I'd rather people actually try to figure something out before they come to me and say, how did you do that? Because um, that's what this is all about. It's all about experimentation and, and playing with the tools and seeing what you can get. But at this time, I did actually have two people that asked. They said, I tried this and I tried that and I tried that and I can't do what you do. And yay, so I'm, I'm putting together this challenge and I don't know what I'll call it, Starry Sky Challenge or something. It's not, it'll be easy and simple. Um, and I have to admit that I do my stars in Photoshop because I have a brush over there that I really like. Um, but we can do something very similar and as good, almost as good, maybe even better, depends on you, um, here on Sumo. So let's do it real quick. Let's take our first layer, paint bucket, turn it black, create a new layer. Now you'll see this is so easy. Switch this to white, the, the paint color there. We'll go to brush. Let's take our flow all the way up. Leave the diameter about 30. We'll go to 3D brushes here. And let's choose, say, the first or second flare. Let's choose random rotate, scattering, gravity, and I forget, I guess I like ink. Um, and then we'll take our spacing all the way up. Now, look what happens when I just drag that around. Ooh, some are larger, some are smaller. And we're creating a starry sky just like that. See how easy that is? Um, and then if you want, you can go ahead and choose a different one. Let's bump our size a little bit. So we get a little bit of a mix of styles. And try to try to start and stop so that you're not all the same everywhere. But pretty much there you go. I mean that's it. That's how easy it is. And you can really play around with it and make it look nicer. You can play with the size of your brush, all sorts of stuff. But um, uh, let's see. Let's take another. Let's just, let's take our little favorite flare there and shrink it all the way down so we get lots of little stars here. And that's it. And then if you wanted to make something more out of this, take another layer. Remember how we do clouds? Noise, clouds. Oh no, what do we do now? Okay, adjustments, <laughs> levels. Let's bump up our blacks. Let's bump up our, up our whites here. And let's go ahead and push OK. And do, 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 switch our blend mode to screen. And voila, look at that. And what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and flip this 90 degrees counterclockwise. Why did I do that? Because I like that better. Free transform. And see how that looks? Kind of cool. And then if we want to turn it into kind of a, oh, let's say night scene. Um, let's take another layer. Let's go back to black here. And I think I want some grass. This is where you gotta be careful. Remember to take away random scattering, gravity, and ink. Let's go to normal. Take our spacing down to normal. Let's bump up our size all the way. I'm gonna kind of give this like a, uh, oh, I don't know, a, a ant's view of the, the starry sky. See how easy grass is here? I mean, it's just amazing how easy it is. And just remember, always start at the top and then work your way down to cover up those ends of the grasses that don't look so good. Try to give it kind of a, oh, I don't know, a um, more natural appearance. Let's see how easy that is. Free transform, make it a little bigger. Let's take up a little bit more. Adjustments, human saturation. Let's give it some color. Green, a little darker. There we go, that's kind of cool. Another thing you can do experiment with is filters, edge detection, glowing edges. Let's see how glowing edges kind of has, gives it a different kind of look. And this is how I'm getting those fade effects or those uh, swoosh effects. Um, actually, this is not a good example to show you, but see that those up and down lines kind of are cool in certain things, but um, I'm not thinking I'm liking this here, so I'm going to cancel. We could also try stylize and boss and see how that gives it more texture, but once again, I'm not liking it that much. Adjustments, hue, and saturation. I am going to actually cancel. I think I like it better black and white. And let's go ahead and add a tree. Tree. 
these are on the second. Oh, let's see. We'll add a, you know, let's add this tree. Bump up our size. And for fun, I am going to switch this tree around. And I'm going to make him bigger. And I'm going to lower him. And I'm going to bevel him. Layer, layer effects, bevel. And I'm going to move that bevel around. I don't know if I like the bevel too much here, but we'll leave it like that. Adjustments, hue and saturation, colorize, lighten up the color. Adjustments, hue and saturation, colorize. Let's take it down to kind of a, I don't know, what do you think? I actually kind of like this black and white. Maybe I should leave it that way. Okay, let's push cancel. Filters, edge detection, glowing edges. There we go, that kind of gives it a more, a nicer look. Okay, and what else is missing? A moon, let's do a moon, okay. Another layer here. Let's uh, brush, 3D brushes. I don't know if you've noticed, but this brush, whatever this is, go stone or whatever, has become one of my favorite brushes lately. So go ahead and shrink that. Filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, and we'll lower it. And I'll take those stars that we made and erase them over the moon. Okay, there you have it. Just a real basic ants view of a night sky in black and white and see how easy the starry sky was. So and there's, you can play with it. If you like what you've done and you go, I'll never be able to recreate that again, take any of these layers, hide all the rest of the layers and save it as a PNG, which I've told you before, I save everything that I like to my computer so I can reuse it again. That's how I, I, I make art so fast is because I have a lot of files pre-made. So anyway, um, make me a starry sky. Show me what you can do. Um, anyway, have a great weekend, what's left of it, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.